Mothers are responsible for taking care of their children and nurturing them with love, but sometimes their maternal instincts are overtaken by their criminal tendency. Here are six times when evil mothers finally got arrested. Is this your car? Yes, sir. Open it up right now. Come here. Turn and put your hands behind your back. What the hell were you thinking? This is Grethny Markovic. Driven by her passion for alcohol, she made a regrettable decision on the scorching afternoon of June 26, 2019. On that day, with the temperature soaring to an unforgiving 88 degrees Fahrenheit, she left her 14-month-old child unattended in a car outside the Owasso Wine and Liquor Store in Oklahoma. In the pursuit of her cravings, Grethny spent around 20 minutes inside the store with a friend, inadvertently subjecting her child to the sweltering heat. The cries of the distressed baby did not go unnoticed by the vigilant police, who promptly intervened to ensure the child's safety. Yeah. Yeah. Put that for me. Is this your car? Yes, sir. Open it up right now. Come here. Turn and put your hands behind your back. What the hell were you thinking? Don't move. You step back up on the curb right now. Here, 81 start medics. And I got one detained. <laughs> the cops were shocked by the inhumane treatment of the Oklahoman mother. What's more shocking is that the woman could hear her son crying in the car from the store. The son only had a diaper on him, and that too was wet, according to the police. In her defense, look what she had to say. Take her. No, no, no. You step over here. Is that your child? Yes, then you come here. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. I swear, I was on. The car isn't even running. Come over here. Why you me? Step back. Stand right here and don't move. She was charged with child endangerment and was held in detention at Tulsa County Jail. If you think Grethny Markovich was a force of evil, wait till you see what this seemingly innocent mother from Michigan did. Buddha. No! What's going on? This is Jessica Edward Ricks a 35-year-old mother who is trying to end the life of his newborn baby. Responding to the urgent call of a 15-year-old, officers arrived at a residence on Blue Stem Court around 10.30 a.m. on the 24th of June, 2023. They were greeted by the desperate screams of a newborn from behind a locked door. Without hesitation, a police officer forcefully entered the room to discover a shocking scene of what Edward Ricks was doing with her two-year-old. Sheriff's Department. Public safety. You got someone in here. You're going to that? Yep. That's a priority. Let's check it. Buddha.
Get off! What's going on? Stabbed it in the throat. Dispatch 2706. I got a child with a stab wound in the chest. I need medical priority one. I'm clear, stab wound to the chest. Wake up, baby. The mother was drowning it in the bathtub when we found it. I'm clear. 1317. Send whoever we got. 80. 5418. Start that way. I have to get uh, DB on the line as well if you can't please. The toddler, despite having endured a traumatic experience, exhibited signs of recovery. Coughing up water and eventually breathing on her own, the young girl's life was spared due to the timely intervention of law enforcement. Breathe for me, baby. Come on. You alright? There you go. That's my six. Baby's starting to cry. Claire, baby's starting to cry. Come on, What's honey. Come on, honey. Wake up, baby. I don't know, it's not bad. 2706. I got no not much active bleeding from the injury. It's below the throat. Come on. She's honey. moaning. Keep him coming, party one. Come on, honey. They're coming. Party Keep waiting for us, alright? Keep waiting. There you go, eyes are open. Good girl, yeah. Keep breathing, honey. You got two. Two. I got one. Hectorly bleeding again. She's still crying. The investigation revealed that the two-year-old had sustained two stab wounds on her chest and throat, while a four-year-old boy in the house had cuts. Furthermore, there were concerns that the children had ingested cleaning fluid. Edward Ricks, responsible for this distressing act, was promptly detained and transported to the hospital for medical evaluation, as authorities suspected she had also ingested cleaning fluid. Simultaneously, the younger children were rushed to the hospital in Jackson with subsequent transfer to Ann Arbor. They were believed to be in stable condition under medical care. If you think this case was distressing, wait till you see what this next 19-year-old woman did. We discovered a dead baby in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. That's very freaking out of me and I didn't know what to do. Lexi, I told you about this. This is Alexi Treviso, a 19-year-old young mother who is about to do something heinous. On the 27th of January, 2023, she shockingly gave birth to her child in a hospital bathroom in Artesia, New Mexico. But instead of carrying the baby out of the bathroom and embracing motherhood, she threw her baby in the trash can. She reportedly came to the hospital to get treatment for her lower back. The police arrived on the scene at 2 a.m. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. It came out of me and I didn't know what to do. Lexi, I told you about this. But I just asked you, baby, to tell me the truth. Scary. It was not crying or nothing. Lexi, I told you about this. What did you do to it? Okay, stop right here. Stop, stop. Number one priority, guys. Number one priority. If she just had a baby, I don't know if she's delivered the placenta, she's bleeding significantly. Yeah. I've spoken to the obstetrician at Loveless. They want her up there as soon as possible. Okay. I need I need your I just need your permission to transfer her for medical to she needs she's to be 19. Good. Oh you're right. You, but you, she you, is a student too. She's no, still no, 19 you're, years you're right. You you're right. She needs to I'm sorry, I forgot she's nineteen. Keep out of me. But you need to for to make sure that you're safe, I need to send you to left Loveless to labor delivery. Will you please agree to that? Yes. 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 I, okay. Great. 
I'm going to work on that. Um, in terms, I'm sorry about this, but in terms of delivering um, a baby and it looked like you tried to hide it, we do have to have the police involved. And that thing was crying. It came out with that thing. I know, I know. But the, the baby's going to have to be taken for autopsy and uh, you know, be an investigator and everything. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But we need to do this correctly. Um, and I want to be transparent with you about what our steps are going to be. Officer, do you need to? Do you guys need to talk to her before we get her transferred? How long is it going to be before you have the transfer? Out? I don't know. What are you working on? Okay. Uh, Maria, so, do you think 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, hopefully. Yes. Okay. 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 So I got. I got to be taken on the way. So they're okay. Gonna, they're going to be talking for. Okay. Do you guys have? I'm the charge nurse. Do you guys have any questions for me? Like, how big is the baby? It's full term. What? Nine months. Nothing was crying. Lexi, have you watched the news of the, the girls that what they do to their babies and what they go to jail? That was crying. The police officials convey the situation to the suspect and her mother, both present in the hospital room. So, as of right now, like I'm going to say this, we're going to have the detectives come over here and they're going to talk to you, okay? We have to gather some more information about what's going, what's going on. They'll get your statement. They're going to get the doctor's statements. They're going to get everybody's statements, okay? So, I don't know everything yet, okay? So, I'm not going to tell you. I can't tell you nothing, honestly, okay? All like I'm going to say not going to go to jail. Right, right now, now no, well, right now, she's being detained. So she, she's not going to leave from here at all, period. Okay, so one of us will Is be in... Is it in your custody? Like, yeah, <laughs> she's detained. Yeah, she's not under arrest, but she okay. is detained. Okay, she's not free to leave. So while this whole thing is coming up, is you're not free to leave, okay? One of okay. us will be in here the whole time with you because you're not going to try to leave or nothing like that. She right. won't. Like I said, the detectives will be here. They're going to talk to you. They, I mean... Your care is of, of the utmost right now, okay? They're going to do what they need to do to take care of you to make sure you get stable. They get you transferred out or whatever. Like I said, the detectives are already been notified. They're already on the way. So they're going to come talk to you, all right? So don't leave. Don't try to do nothing. One of us is always going to be in here in this room with you, okay? Unless we have to step out for doctor's orders or something like that because they need to examine you or do something with you. But other than that, like I said, you are detained. You are not free to leave at this point. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Where was the baby at? I, I don't know. I have no clue yet. Like I said, I just talked to the charge nurse. We're still getting all the information right now. Okay. Okay. Um, once we get that information, like I said, the detectives, they can clue you out on everything and talk to you more about it. Okay. All right. So. Where did you put the baby at? Tell me the truth. What did you put in there? Uh, 517. You put her in the bag? Yes. Yeah. In what bag? In the bag. Why did you say anything to us? Do you want to get in trouble for this now? You could get in trouble for Mom. this baby. Mom. I just give it time, okay? I'm going to speak to detectives whenever she's ready, okay? Treviso was immediately detained after this inhuman crime and taken into police custody. She was transported to an air ambulance as seen in the footage. The baby's cause of death was officially determined as homicide following an autopsy. Artesia Police Department detectives conveyed the case details to the 5th Judicial District Attorney's Office on March 28, 2023. Subsequently, a criminal complaint gained approval on May 10, 2023 leading to the filing of formal charges against the suspect and the victim's mother. In the words of the police, Treviso faces charges of first-degree murder or intentional abuse of a child resulting in death, along with an additional count for tampering with evidence. If this, according to you, was an act of the devil, then you probably aren't aware of the case of Chastity Bliss, who was also involved in the killing of her daughter. Turn around for me. Do you have any shoulder injuries? Okay, yeah. Not that you know of. Well. Okay. Right now you're under arrest for OVI, okay? Okay. We're gonna read you your rights before we go any farther. This is Chastity Bliss, a 43-year-old mother from Ohio. At 43 years old, she found herself entangled in a tragic incident that claimed the life of one of her daughters. 
On October 16th, 2023, Chastity Bliss was navigating the roads with her daughters when a horrifying crash occurred. Around 4 p.m., her car collided with both a tree and a pole near Newton Township, resulting in the immediate and devastating loss of her seven-year-old daughter. Remarkably, Bliss emerged from the wreckage unscathed, displaying no visible scars or bruises from the harrowing accident. As the officer delves into this heart-wrenching situation, let's uncover the details that law enforcement will extract from her. So where were you coming from today then, right now before the crash? Where did you first come from? When you were driving on the road, where did you leave from? The house. You left your house? Yeah. Where were you going? The Christie's and uh, the store. Christie's and in the store? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what happened with the crash? Do you remember it at all? I turned my head and looked at the girls to talk to them. They were fighting and I just turned my head. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you haven't used meth since yesterday then? Right, right. I took my sleeping pill last night. You took your sleeping pill last night? Yes, I take it every night. I mean, everybody. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to run you through a few field sobriety tests here. Okay. okay? Um, I'm going to check your eyes first, do okay. the uh, horizontal gaze. Okay. Test here, okay? okay? All right, on this test, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna follow this pin with your eyeballs only. As it goes from side to side, you're gonna keep your head dead straight, okay? So the only thing moving here is your eyes, and you're gonna track this pin, all right? Do you have any questions about any of that? No. Right. Can you see the pin just fine? Yeah. Okay. So you can blink if you need to during this test. You don't have to keep your eyes open, okay? I'm gonna do the modified Romberg test on this next one here, okay? I'm gonna explain it all to you, and I'm gonna ask you to take it from there, all right? It's a pretty simple test. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna have your feet side by side, like you already have them. You're gonna have your hands straight down to your side, okay? From there, you're gonna look up at the sky with your eyes closed. I'm gonna fall over and than that. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll catch you if you fall over, okay? okay? Like I said, with your head back, I'm going, you don't have to do it yet. I'm gonna explain everything to you, then, then I want you to do it, all right? So, with your hands down to your side, you're gonna maintain that straight stance there. You're gonna lift your head up so you're looking at the clouds. You're gonna close your eyes, all right? With your head back and your eyes closed, you're gonna quietly to yourself estimate the passage of 30 seconds, okay? When you think 30 seconds has passed, you're gonna drop your head and tell me to stop timing you, okay? Do you have any questions about any of that? All right, like I said, just like this, hands straight down to your side, head up, eyes closed. When I tell you to start, that's when you're gonna estimate the passage of 30 seconds, okay? Go ahead and get in the position. I'll tell you to start in just a second. You gotta have your eyes closed. Start now. Are you done? Yeah. How long was that? I think it was 30, but like that burn kept getting on my elbow, okay. so. How did you get to 30? Taking it, count one, two, three. One, two, three, okay. But then I stopped for a second when I said, you okay. calling on me. And... Okay, so you had a little pause there in the middle and you just kept on going? Mm -hmm. Did you just count the 30 then? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, how, do you, how do you ingest your pills and your meth when you take them? Do you store them? Yeah. Okay, how do, you, how do you explain having zero nasal hair in your, no, no idea. That was from years ago, probably. When years ago? Yeah. Did you used to sort Xanax or something? Yeah, Xanax. Okay. Yeah. How long ago has it been since you done that? About well, five days when I did that last. Five days yeah. since you did that last? Mm -hmm, four. Okay. All right. Uh, because I, I smoked about three pads away. Okay. Have you smoked any marijuana or anything like that today? I don't smoke marijuana. Okay. All right. After finding out about her drug use through her confession and multiple sobriety tests done on the scene, Bliss was arrested. 
I'm going to explain this to you one more time here, okay? Feet together, hands down to your side. With a straight leg, you're going to raise one foot off the ground about six inches. You're going to keep that foot parallel to the ground. All right, while you're, you're going to maintain that position, you're going to look at your toes you have off the ground. You're going to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, until I tell you to stop counting, okay? Do you have any questions about that? All right, start that one. Which one would be best? It's whatever foot you want. Start it whenever you're ready. Okay, you can relax. And I'm shook up. Right. I'm top of it. My kid is all I care about. Oh, it's just all right. Is there any chance you're pregnant right now? No. Not pregnant at all? Uh -uh. Okay. Actually, that time right now, month. Okay. So I'm like, yeah. All right, turn around for me. Do you have any shoulder injuries? I'll go now. Not that you know of. Uh -uh. Actually, face me this way. Mm, damn, it's cold. <laughs> right now you're under arrest for OVI, okay? Okay. We're gonna read you your rights before we go any farther. Bliss is charged with numerous felonies and is being held without bond. The specified felony charges include first degree aggravated vehicular homicide, third degree endangering children, first degree involuntary manslaughter, and reckless homicide. The suspect also faces misdemeanor charges of endangering children and driving under the influence. If you think Bliss was the only drug-addicted mother who suffered due to her drug use, wait until you see this next case of Perla Aguilar. Can you set your step on top of the car? Turn around. James, find you. And you're coming from work right now? Interlace yeah. your fingers. This is Perla Aguilar, who just enjoyed a night out at a bar in Oklahoma, though at the expense of leaving her children unattended. On December 12th, 2021, she returned home around 2 a.m., having left her four children under the care of her eldest daughter, a responsible nine-year-old. Sergeant Gary Knight, overseeing the case, noted that the nine-year-old supervisor, in her earnest efforts, provided sustenance to the youngest baby, a nine-month-old, by feeding her pizza as she was unsure of the appropriate diet. Hi. Hello, are you mom? Yes, I'm home. What's wrong? Why are your kids all here by themselves? Um, okay, bye. I'm sorry? Why are your kids all here by themselves? Oh, um, because I work night shift. Okay. I work two jobs. Okay. Can you step out of the car so sure. we can talk to you? Okay. Can you set your step on top of the car? Turn around. James, find you. You're saying you're coming from work right now? Interlace yeah. your fingers. You're not coming from the clubs, the bars, or anything? No, I work. Where do you work at? Well, I work at a bar. You work at a bar? Mm hmm. You a bartender? Yes, sir. Sure. So, why don't you have a babysitter and you can get Well, it's expensive. I can park here. Get you in this way. I just know you're being detained right now, okay? You're not under arrest, you're just being detained. Okay. Okay, walk with me here. I'll read this way to this car. Okay. Can I call my sister, at least? Uh, we're on the phone with her in there. Okay. Can you sit for me, okay? Mm -hmm. It, yeah, it doesn't matter who, who really made the call because how old's your baby in there? She's nine months on the 21st. Nine months? Roger, he drives that at here at GMC. She was, she was in there sleeping and she, she was face down. Mm -hmm. 
and that's not good. There's loose, you know, sheets and pillows and stuff. Babies, they suffocate all the time from stuff like that. That's not, that's not good to, to leave her like that. Uh, if you don't the side, it's all just and there, so that's why I have that gray blanket on her, which is not like, like okay. that. I am more concerned. I'm sorry? I am more concerned about that baby's diaper rash. Right? Yeah. That well, is not, that is the worst diaper rash I've ever seen on a baby. Yes. Well, Thanksgiving, they actually went to Texas with Destiny, which is my best friend, the one that she says is my sister. And she bought her these diapers that I normally don't buy her. And that's not that's not that's not from diapers. Um, I have a one year old at home. That's not from diapers. Well, it didn't start until we she started buying those diapers, and you can even call her and ask her. Aguilar argues that she was on her job, but it wasn't long for cops to find out the truth. She and drunk. When she, got her, she told she didn't me have that those she diaper works rash. Both. So now I have to she, go to the love and she I have bought her creams and everything for it. But she normally uses the that you're you're she's drunk. I saw her drive up here too. Yeah, she's she's drunk. I'm I can smell it on her. I, well, yeah, for, I, uh, drive up I work here, in so. a car, so you can smell the smoke. No, you no 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 no. Hey, I don't. What's your name? My name is Perla. Your name is Perla? Yes. Okay, Perla. I don't think you understand how mad I am right now. I, I don't I don't know, you don't. You have no idea how much I'm restraining myself. You can ask my partner, he's seen me mad. As you have a one year old, I okay. understand. No, you don't understand. I'm you've all you've had that. you've had I issues. Work at a hotel. You've had issues. So if I send someone to that bar right now, they're gonna tell me because I have an officer on the way over there to confirm that you work there. Yes, Robert they're gonna, is they're a gonna confirm. Guard. They're gonna confirm Ronnie that. Ronnie works there. Maria is a bartender. You're driving drunk for one. You're driving drunk. You drove up here, so you're arrested for DUI at this point. You're going to jail. I'm letting you know right now. You are going to jail. Okay. For a single mother trying to make a living, she's trying to keep a three bedroom. You're driving house. drunk, and you were not working at a bar. You don't work there. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I've already had an officer confirm that you don't work there. Okay, I've already had an officer up there and they confirmed you don't work there. Okay, you're driving drunk. You're going out partying, leaving your kids at home. No, this I'm, happens I'm, often because no, guess what? No, no, no. There's already been a whole DHS case about it and your kids have been taken away and they have a foster family in Luther. I know a lot more about yes, what's going on yes, than what yes, you think. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? Your baby true. has leather. But no, 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 no. Your that's... baby has leather for a butt. For mm -hmm. her skin. Her she skin has a is leather. Appointment and everything I have confirmed. And I understand. You're under arrest for DUI. Yes, sir. A neighbor mentioned that the children are currently under the care of another family member. Aguilar is now facing charges of child neglect, driving under the influence, and driving with a suspended license. Her children were still inside the house, somewhat safe from outside threats. But this next case of this infant and his parents shows the highest levels in competence and carelessness. Step out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. I've had enough of this without both of you. What, so you're arrested? You both are getting arrested, so get your kid dressed. This is Yajaira Tirado, a young mom carefree about her infant son. On the 24th of June, 2019, a two-year-old infant was rescued by some strangers who were seen wandering alone on the US-1 highway. His parents, Yajaira Tirado and Jacob Kruger, a Florida couple, were completely unaware of the presence of their son. The boy was found wearing only a diaper and had bug bites all over his body. Evidently, the child was not receiving the care and attention he deserved. My heart is, my heart is about to jump off my body. Okay. Yeah. Who's, did we find? No. I, I just pulled over. I found him. Man, my heart is about to jump off my body. They were walking in the road? Yes, his baby. He actually. Oh, I know where he, I know where he is. I think I'm pretty sure I know which one. He's from that one right there. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. Hey, buddy. I don't know if you want to come to me or are you good there with her? Oh, um, look at this. All right, let's go. Right, let me hang tight. Can you pull over here for me one second? I think I remember this guy. Poor little man. You, does he say anything to you? No, he didn't. He didn't say anything. He's not afraid of that, for sure. He didn't say nothing, though? No. Oh, okay. Give me one no. second. Come here, buddy. He almost ran out in front of my truck when I was trying to hear he's running in front of their car. Gotcha. Jesus, Christmas. <laughs> give me one. Just hang tight for me one second and I'll get all your information. 
The child recognizes his home after the cop takes him to a nearby trailer. Upon knocking on the door, no one shows up. The sheriff recalls a similar incident with this baby before that happened last year. Is this where you live? You live here? Do you live here? Yeah. That's where you live? How'd you get out? Is this where you came from? My blue lights, buddy. Look at that. We're gonna we're gonna sit in that car, actually. Can you hang tight with him while I pull my car over here, and we can he can sit in the back of my car for a second? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Absolutely I'm good. is. Come here. You hey, I'm I'm hard. Hard. Oh, you poor little diaper. Absolutely. Let me pull my car in here. I'm. I had to. I had to pull over. I had to. No, absolutely. Where was he walking? He was just walking right here? Yeah, get ready to walk into the intersection. And I'm just coming from Houston Murder for my doctor's appointment. Okay. It's freaking me out. Would you mind giving me a written statement about what exactly what happened? Okay, give me I one second. I definitely will, man. And I know you're working, so I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible oh, for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't want to say it's that trailer right there. Right. But I was out here for a similar incident. And it was that trailer right there. So I'm going to try to find the mom again. Same child? They were younger, I'm pretty, they were younger obviously at the time, but oh, that's why I'm kind of remembering him. Uh, You're a godsend today. Yes. Go ahead. Do um, you want to sit in the back of my car real quick? Ooh. In the, in the, with the blue lights on? All we'll right. put the blue lights on, all right? You recognize me? No. You don't recognize me? I was here last time when this happened. You remember that? Yeah. In the reported incident from January 2018 last year, Toronto faced charges of child neglect when one of her three children dialed 911. Deputies responding to the call discovered two kids left alone in the house with an aggressive dog, along with an unsecured shotgun and ammunition. And your son today was in the street, walking out on US-1, and luckily some nice ladies Daddy. saw him and stopped before he got smushed by a friggin' car. You know, what were you guys doing in there? We were just sleeping. Just sleeping? Yeah. Can we get him a new diaper on? His diaper is really soiled. You don't even want to like, I mean, you can look at it obviously, but it's disgusting. Like I didn't even want to walk in there, but I wanted to make sure there wasn't another kid in there. Is this the same kid or a different one? No, it's the same kid. It's the same kid that called us last time. He's got a younger sister, I think. She's with the grandparents. So we're going to need to call DCF or the grandparents. Step out of the car for me. Come here. Come on. Step out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. I've had enough of this without both of you. What? So you're arrested? You both are getting arrested. So get your kid dressed. For what? Child neglect. Why? Come on. What do you mean why? why? I'm seat in the back of my car. I've had enough please. of you guys. Sit in the back. Get in there. Please, please, why? What do you mean why? Sit, sit in the back of the car. Slide in the car now. Sure. Poor parenting. Add that one to the list. Ouch, yeah. Turn around. Come here. You. You're next. For what? Why am I? Why, why am I getting arrested? Child neglect. Put your hands behind your back. What did I do though? What did you do? It's what about you didn't do. You didn't watch your kid. Your kid's out on the road. This is a history with you two. I mean, this is just a, a circus. All I want was the kid to get some clothes and get changed. What do you you guys couldn't even doing? do that. What do you think I was doing? Around, that's what you were doing. I was putting clothes on. This is not fair at all. It's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair to your son. That's what it's not fair to you. Have a seat. It's just, they're letting him eat old McDonald's that's like 10 years old. They can't get him clothes. But he's walking around with his glass everywhere. You know, this is just ridiculous. My patience is, is done with these two. The State Department of Children and Families took custody of the couple's son. Toronto and Kruger were incarcerated at the Volusia County Branch Jail, each on a $5,000 bond. It is unfortunate to see such mothers being so careless and cruel to their children. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.